Hello folks, this is Dr. J. Whelan, better known as Dr. J.B., and this is my hummingbird feeder that I designed. It's Dr. J.B.'s hummingbird feeder, and um, I just want to talk to you today about the migration of hummingbirds. This is mid-August. This is the time the hummingbirds are traveling back to Costa Rica and to South uh, Mexico. Uh, I want to first recognize that we are at the home of Joe and Betty McCoy. This was my first test site. They have over 300 hummingbirds a day. So far this year they've gone through 150 pounds of sugar for celebrating, for, for taking care of these uh, hummers and there are lots of them you will see in, in a moment. But what I want to do is uh, to discuss the proper care and uh, the type of food that they need because they have to store a lot of energy with uh, traveling so far back to Costa Rica. And uh, this usually consists of uh, sugar and I like at this time of the year to do three to one sugar because they need the energy. It will range anywhere from three to one to five to one ratio. Uh, one part sugar to three parts water. And the other thing I want to emphasize is that the feeder design is important because insects tend to become a problem this time of the year with both the humans and it uh, also could be harmful to the hummingbirds so that you want to have the proper care. Now my feeder as you can see here comes into three parts. It's dishwasher safe. Uh, the nectar level in this feeder is uh, 20 millimeters below the petal that you see on the hummingbird feeder which discourages bee activity uh, and from ant, ant, ant uh, activity you have to put something like an ant moat a little cup that will hook to the top of the design of this feeder and ants won't cross water so this way you can deter uh, both uh, ants and, um, and bees or other insects uh, so I'm going to just kind of stop talking here for a while and let these friendly hummers come up here and uh, sample my nectar solution. by saying that we want to feed these migrating rubies on the way back to Costa Rica. They need to store energy. They'll double their weight by the nectar that they eat and travel so that they have energy to move. And the important thing is to keep it about three to one at this time of the year. Four to one is usually the rate. But also the good care of your feeder uh, to uh, deter or distract uh, and repel um, bees and ants I've already discussed but it's important to have a good feeder that the nectar level is well below the flower that will keep bees away and an ant trap Fill with half filled with water keeps the ants from coming on. Now, you can check out my website www.d 
drjbs.com and uh, it has a phone number on there. I'll be glad to talk to you if you have any questions or email me and we can um, discuss the care of the feeder and taking care of these great little hummers that are migrating back giving them a farewell. Thank you.